Mean Video 718. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. You got something to say? Let's have a conversation. The dude who rolled into the store with the infamous THF Ralph TZT before Duck got murdered, he hit the stand. He's claiming he had no clue what the hell was going down. Said he was just there to hang, shop a bit, and TZ pulled some bizarre moves. Dude swears he wasn't involved. And here's the kicker, the Small Balls Nation is back in action. But let me tell you, TZ, he takes the cake. His balls, so minuscule, Google had to step in. I searched up how a guy can have such tiny marbles, and even Google couldn't be answered that. Our pal Teezy, knowing about Duck's relation with his ex, watched as his manhood gradually shrunk knowing that he couldn't square up against a street heavyweight like FBG Duck. So, he lurked in the shadows, tracking Duck's every move. Then, when the time was ripe, he concocted tails, rallying O-Block's heavy hitters to take down Duck when he least expected it. Also, Teezy's buddy, the one who was there when Duck got hit, straight up dropped his balls before taking the stand acting like he had zero clue about Teezy's minuscule beans. So, the name of T's friend is Man Man, known to be a real tough cookie, a savage in the game with a laundry list of cases, but when it came down to facing FBG Duck, even he jumped aboard the Small Balls Nation train. Shows how Duck's reputation had these guys quaking in their boots. Man Man stepped up in that courtroom, took the stand, and when the lawyers grilled him, he spun a tail. Said he was out to shop with Teezy, drop some cash, you know, regular stuff. Then, when Teezy clocked Duck, he split. Man Man claims he was clueless, just trying to buy himself some gear, swearing he was innocent, simply doing his shopping, the guy shopped off his balls on the spot. Seems like Man Man had a case of amnesia regarding his past remarks about Duck on social media after Duck's demise. But here's the kicker, word has it that Man Man turned federal witness, spilled the beans on Teezy, revealing the intense hate Teezy had for Duck and his desire to see him gone. This guy, in a split second, severed ties with the Small Balls Nation and, in doing so, revealed his affiliation with the underworld of rats, or maybe that's an attempt from THF to put Teezy behind bars for 55 years. So far it seems like Teezy's the mastermind behind Duck's hit, pulling in old block members. But that ain't all, words out that E-Dog, Boss Top, Lil Dirk, and other OTF crew are getting dragged into this whole mess. Let's not forget, Dirk's catching a lot of fire from Kenny Mack. The heat's on because Dirk's footing the bill for Moap's lawyer. Kenny Mack's lawyer threw shade at OTF and Dirk, my take? Dirk's got Moap's back cause he's OTF affiliated, keeping close tabs on that trial. And don't overlook this, Dirk's brother, D-Tang, is knee-deep in this mess. His boy, King Vaughn, dropped a hefty $100,000 bounty on Duck's head. If they were still around, they'd probably be right there next to Mr. Small Balls TZ. During the questioning, Kenny Mack's lawyer probed Lil's baby mama about OTF. She confirmed knowing about OTF when prompted by the lawyer. Then the lawyer presented articles from OTF's registration in 2012, signed by Dirk himself. They asked if she knew OTF was a legally contracted organization, to which she initially denied knowing. Later, they prodded about it being an illegally contracted organization, and again, she denied it. They pressed her about obstruction, as she was hesitant to dive into details about OTF. They kept objecting whenever OTF's involvement in certain activities or its gang status was brought up. OTF got pulled into court, and it looks like everyone's in the crosshairs. The feds ain't playing games. They got their sights set on bringing old block down, even Chief Keefe's names in the mix. Teezy? He's practically cooked, no way out for him. Man Man dropped some serious truth bombs in that courtroom, just like everyone expected. The spotlight's on THF Crack, set to testify next. There's a buzz around him cause he was on IG right before Duck got hit, talking about Duck sauce coming up. People are eyeing him to show up in court and spill the beans. But if he decides to clam up, that ain't gonna look good for him, especially considering Crack's already tied up in another legal mess involving a minor. The feds seem to have a truckload of evidence pushing these folks to spill the beans. 
Not sure if any deals went down, but old Block's lawyers are singing a tune about these testifiers getting some hefty cash and sweet deals, especially for their gun cases and more. Sounds like after Christmas, old Block's gearing up to bring in their own witnesses. But for now, the prosecution's wrapping up their side of the story. With that out of the way, I have one more thing to say. Some folks think this is a showdown between YouTubers, but that ain't my vibe. This seems huge. Tons of bloggers covering trials or news about gangsters. Some for their kin, some, like myself, as a gig, seeking the truth behind this mess. To me, this ain't no competition. I welcome anyone to grab info from my vids, spread the word far and wide. These cases, news, and stories ain't nobody's property. It's out there in the open, involving some of the most notorious figures of our time. So, like I said, everyone's welcome to take what they need from my vids and put it out there. 